Hey everyone, how are ya? So today we'll have a look at the CR56 Amex or the Galil as it's otherwise known. This is another weapon from Season 4 Battle Pass. It's free to unlock for everybody whether you buy the pass or not. I think it's in the 30 odds in the tiers to get. It doesn't take too long to get there. We haven't fully upgraded this gun. I haven't got gold in it yet. I plan on trying to get that done tonight if I can. But up to this point where we are, we're going to have a look at the gun, have a look at some of the attachments that I've been using, and then we'll have a little bit of gameplay for you. We'll show you obviously my perks, lethals, tactical, just like everything like normal. And we'll go for it. Don't forget, guys, if you like this kind of content, you want to see more, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel with your notifications turned on so you never miss another video. So let's have a look at what we've got. Secondary, we've got a single X16, the monolithic suppressor, the Vanguard Elite Barrel, attack laser, the match grade trigger, and a stipple grip tape. Brings a gun up nice. Great little secondary to use. Good stopping power. Perks, we did put quick fix on. Just to try and, as we take someone down, get that health regen back up as fast as we can. You could use EOD if you prefer. Or even scavenger, but quick fix has been working quite nice at the moment. Ghost for obvious reasons, stay off that UAV. And tracker so we can see the enemy footsteps. We've got trusty old C4 in our lethal slot. C4 always works nice. And stim for again obvious reasons. It's always nice if you don't get if you don't manage to kill someone, you're getting shot, you bolt away, heal up, get back into the game as fast as you can. So you see we've managed to get the, the CR56 to level 54. So we haven't got too much left to go. I think it's in the level 60. I think it's 68, I think, on max level on this. So we've got a little bit to go. So muzzle, we've got the tactical suppressor, just for that sound suppression. The compensator is nice, and that's going to be the monolithic. So once monolithic's unlocked, that will go on. I am using the GI Mini Reflex. really don't like the iron sights on this at the moment. I haven't, I just don't like, I can't deal with the iron sights on either of the barrels or the standard barrel. We'll see on the third barrel when it's unlocked what they're like, but at the moment we're using the mini reflex. We have the no stop for our ADS and movement speed. Rubberized for that recoil control. The recoil is a little bit nuts on this gun. Anything we can do to control it's always nice. And the commando foregrip for that recoil with only movement speed doesn't doesn't um, slow down our ADS, so that's quite important on this because we're using the rubberized. If you're going to be using something like the Merc or the Ranger, I would recommend putting the stippled on. Well, there we go, that's what I've been using. If you're dropping out the video here, thanks for stopping by. Take your setup, go drop a nuke, because I ain't going to do it. But if you're sticking around, we've got a little bit of gameplay for you. Hope you enjoy. Okay, here we go. We've got to cut the guys on then. On the A flag, let's pop them with the C4, and we're getting annihilated. Now, bear in mind, the match has just started. I'm not really sure. Quite what was going on. It absolutely pounded at the start of this. So, the CR56 is it's a nice assault rifle. I'm seeing a lot of people saying it's going to be it's better than the Growl for Warzone. Could well be. A lot of people comparing it to the AK. I don't have no. I, I didn't use the AK a lot. I got to be honest. I should have done it more. I can't really compare it. But we get a nice little triple there. Sidearm coming in good use. He's, this has got some good stopping power. Look to the fire rate slightly slower than most ARs, but it has got some serious stopping power to it. This guy beamed us with his uh, big LMG. I'm running around like Arnie there. But this is a solid, reliable gun from what I've used. So once we've got it gold, we'll have another. We'll do another review. Another luck loadout. With with it fully maxed out and with it gold, just so you guys can see, one what it looks like, and two, if the attachments change too much. So we're we're, we're scooping it around. We see on the UAV there's a couple of guys on A. This geezer down the bottom, taking with a C4. That's why the C4 is always nice. Well, right, we can see they've cleared off A. It was obviously that guy that was on it. Peek out the window. See anyone? Yeah, we've got a man running. Drop him. Lovely jubbly. 
jump across the roof, a little bunny. Anyone peek out? Me? Yeah, take him down. Nice clean. He didn't see us. Stim up. We're never being shot. Let's see if we peek round. Clear him off, but his teammate comes sliding round. Get the headshot. Always nice. Drop a little UAV. Let's get back into it. So I just I can't stand the uh, iron sights on. So we have to use the. Uh, we have to use a little reflex. We're using the GI Mini because it is the smallest one on there, so it doesn't take up too much of a peripheral with it. I've never been one for a high zoom in with an AR. Take that guy. His teammate clears us up, though. I say, if you can get the, if you can get two, you can get two down quite comfortably, and it's got some good range on it. The recoil's not too, too bad. It is manageable. Actually, we know he's running through. We pre-fire that corner. Take him. Take down his teammate. Nice double. Lovely job, Lee. Let's see if we can loop around. See if we can pick anyone up from the back. Teammate's got the same idea. Unfortunately, we got the hit markers, but we got beamed through that smoke from that grenade. We get the assist. Once again, there's more people on A. Snuffed the C4, though. Didn't do great there. He's dropped down. Unfortunately, he was a bit sharper on the draw than me. We see that he's being contested. We've got our old matey there taking it down. He's trying to Rambo across. Always nice just to get the roof, especially when you know your teammates going down the bottom. They've got two sight lines then. Get the assist on that chap. Get cleared up from behind. Sneaky, sneaky, beaky. So we're not, 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 not the greatest game we've ever played. Didn't do very well with that old C4. But yeah, as a team, we're not doing too great. We're getting our asses handed to us. Let's be, let's face it here. This is one of the worst plays I've ever made. I just basically stand there. Not sure what I was thinking. One of the most annoying things in any game of domination is spawn flips. We need to understand you don't need three flags to win. Two will do. Didn't see the guy on the roof. Should have seen him. Hold A and B or C and B and you can win a game quite comfortably. Two flags. You don't need a third. Don't keep flipping the spawns. Run into a precision air strikes. Always a clever move. At this point in the game, we know we've lost. But we're going to keep fighting. We're going to see what we can do. A couple of guys in the window. I didn't really stand much of a chance. But we're doing alright. We could be doing worse. Right, well, we know he's up at the window. Take him down. Nice long shot. We'll take that. Another camo unlocked. Always nice on our old... Uh, Road to gold. Shouldn't have run this. I know what's going to happen. Take him from behind. Should have known that. Instead, I decided to carry on. Get a hit marker on the guy. They see the guy at the window. Decide I'm not challenging that. Right, so we now know there's a guy up the stairs. We throw the C4, nothing from that. We know he's up there. We see his footprints. We know he's we know he's come around to try and get us. 
take him down. And we can hear some more footprints upstairs. So we drop the dead eat. Sneak that round. See him up top. Take him down nice and clean. Sneaky beaky. Peek the window. See the geezer running across the open. Normally that's me that gets taken down. So we get clean up the kill. Shouldn't have run across there. I knew that was a bad idea. But still decided to do it anyway. That's my biggest thing. I make a lot of poor mistakes when it comes to gameplay. Again, climbing up there, not paying attention. Get cleared up by that guy. Easy kill for him. Enemy UAV overhead. Constantly flipping the spawns again and again. Don't know where we are half the time. see these footsteps we try and follow him we don't really know where he's bloody gone get out of the way of that VTOL now we know it's fucking off lovely job Lee I'm around to see expecting there to be a couple of people around here apparently they've all disappeared they've probably all gone back to bloody A as soon as that's the most sensible thing to do Game's coming to an end now. They're not the best game, but thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.